This is a definitive step-by-step -step guide of how to conduct Etsy research in 2025. All you need to know is what product you want to sell. Typically, that's gonna be something from Printful or Printify's catalog so that they can do the fulfillment and you can focus on researching and designing and continuing to launch new product listings. So let's set you up for success in the new year and let's get to it. So let's dive straight into it. First, I said you need to pick a product type that you can sell. I'm gonna use ornaments as an example. Don't lose your mind over that though. I know that ornaments are really hot in December and then they kind of fade away. I mean, you can sell ornaments throughout the year, but let's be real, December is the best month. Use the approach to research that I'm showing you in this video for any product type that you wanna sell in 2025. Okay, you can replicate what I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna use ornaments now because they're selling so well that I think it represents a great example of the power of this process I'm gonna show. So it all starts at Etsy Hunt, all right? This is a very powerful research tool with one of, if not the biggest product database from Etsy that we can query here in Etsy Hunt better than we can on Etsy. And also it gives us additional insights. So we're gonna leverage that. So what I'm gonna do, we know we're gonna sell ornaments is I'm gonna go ahead and copy the word ornament, then I'm gonna go to Etsy Hunt's find keyword. Okay, this is a very powerful module. I don't need to tell you, I'm gonna show you why. So where it says enter keyword to search, right up here in the top left, I'm gonna type ornament, and then I'm gonna click search. By the way, if you wanna follow along, I will link to Etsy Hunt at the top of the description. Now, I'm not gonna mess with any of the, you know, filters and toggles, let's just use the baseline default. So now it's querying its massive database on the word ornament and some of the first results you'll notice are not necessarily might not be the most useful i accidentally had to reload the page there and i realized it changed the results but there was one i really wanted to show you but check this out so you see like ornament ornament spelled out three times then you see the word ornament by itself spelled out three times and there's changes to the casing the capitalized letters you can honestly just scroll past that ignore that the real power here is now it's no longer in front of us, but it said meat ornament was one of them. And we're gonna dig into some of these as well, but let me use meat ornament as an example because I had to re-record this. I really wanted to show you it though. That was not on my bingo card of ornaments that were selling during Christmas. So I'm gonna go back to the dashboard here and then I'm gonna go ahead and click find hot product right here in the top left corner. Okay, and I'm gonna type out, you guessed it, meat ornaments. And while that loads, I wanna go to etsy.com and I'm gonna search for meat ornament. And I just wanna illustrate something to you. Now, I had no clue this was a niche, but I didn't need to know. Etsy Hunt's got my back, right? I'm trying to sell ornaments and it's saying, hey, meat ornaments is a good sub niche, okay? Based on our data. When I scroll through Etsy after searching meat ornament, number one, I realize this really is a niche, okay? It really is, look at all these options. Number two, now it's got me craving a steak too. But number two, what this doesn't show me is any data on these products. I have no clue what the best sellers are. You know what I mean? They could be hidden in the middle of the page. There's a meat mug right there. What in the world, yo? This is hilarious. Uh, we can do a little bit better, okay? When we came back here to the hot, or find hot product, okay? Essentially, we're query, querying the Etsy Hunt database, which is massive for meat ornament. Now we actually get data like the seven day sales, total sales, total reviews, total favorites, et cetera. Okay, you can see right here that bacon ornament. Now, I don't know if Printful or Printify can fulfill those, but hey, it's a start, right? If you're making a list of ornaments, you could say sub-niche meat ornament and then sub-niche within that bacon ornament specifically. Uh, here's a hot dog ornament. Uh, by the way, the bacon one, 21 sales in the last seven days, so about three sales a day. The hot dog ornament doing uh, one sale a day. The pig ornament, the spam ornament. There's some funny ones. Uh, I'm actually gonna sort by total sales. So why restrict it to the last seven days? Let's go ahead, sort by total sales and see what the most popular ornaments, meat ornaments are. So it looks like the spam ornament is the most popular. Uh, some pig ornaments, hot dog ornaments, uh, Christmas celebrate with minimal fuss and a lot of meat, <laughs> a sandwich ornament. Next one, I just wanna drink beer and smoke some meat, a McNugget ornament, a meatloaf ornament. <laughs> Drink beer, smoke meat, another one of those, a taco ornament, um, <laughs> a McRib <laughs> ornament, bacon ornament, real men rub their meat ornament. <laughs> there's the bacon one, there's a meat one. Okay, so you guys get the point, right? 
that was probably not something you expected to see on this video. I didn't expect to see it on this video. Here we are talking about meat ornaments. Marielle can hear me in the other room. She said, are you talking about meat ornaments? And I had to say, yes, I am. That is the power of Etsy hunt and no, it wasn't planned. All right, let's jump back over here. Sober ornament is a big one, okay? Let's go over here, just like we just did, replace the word meat with sober and we're gonna repeat the process. All right, we've got it sorted by total sales. You can see an AA ornament with angel wings. Uh, that's done 184 total sales. Next one is another AA inspired ornament, serenity prayer, AA charm. Pay attention to the keywords as well that they're using to uh, rank. And by the way, you can click and it'll open this up in more of an advanced view here in Etsy hunt as well. You can see things like the tags as well. Sobriety gift, sober ornament, AA ornament, AA symbol, meaningful gift, sobriety anniversary, one year sobriety gift gift for sober, AA birthday gift, AA chip. So you see what I'm saying, guys? Like there's a lot of lot more in-depth information contained here uh, in the advanced view. You can also see the images as well that they're using on Etsy. You can favorite them, you can track them here in Etsy hunt as well. So that's also worth mentioning. Uh, I no longer have a secret. I have a story, a recovery ornament. Here's another Alcoholics Anonymous stained glass ornament, uh, personal sobriety gift ornament, one year sober. Sobriety ornament, one day at a time. Uh, NA, uh, Narcotics Anonymous, tree ornament, angel wings. Sobriety ornament, uh, world's best sponsor ever ornament. So a gift for sponsor. Here's one personalized warrior orna ornament uh, optimized around Alcoholics Anonymous. Serenity prayer. You guys get the point, right? You see how fast we're rifling through these niches? And these are literally, like these have done hundreds of sales. Okay, maybe not all of them, but the first 184, the second 140, next one 91, next one 57. Like, I don't know how many sales your Etsy shop has, but like the easiest way to make sales in general is to look at what's already selling and take a hint, right? So start by finding things that are selling. It doesn't help if you just go to Etsy and scroll because you may end up looking at, you know, half a page or more of products that have never sold, right? It's where Etsy hunt is so powerful. So I went down the list and searched a few more. Harper ornament was trending. I'm guessing this might be related to the Phillies and Bryce Harper. Based on the results, it certainly looks like that could be the case. You've got this one right here, like a six inch tall Bryce Harper swinging a bat. Now that's almost certainly uh, infringing on, you know, the Phillies. So I wouldn't recommend that per se, but uh, you know, if it's selling, it's gonna make its way into the product database here. So whether you're a Phillies fan or not, you know, here it is, but I wouldn't recommend selling that. So you do have to do your due diligence as well. No, no tool is perfect in that it's gonna filter out all of the like IP protected stuff. Uh, Patriot ornament was also trending. So you've got the Trump 2024 Christmas ornament with the hair on the ornament, that's hilarious. Uh, Trump ornament 2024, 45, 47. Trump ornament. So if you said Patriot ornament, it doesn't say Trump yet. You know, when we sort by the uh, seven day sales here, you know, this top one made 61 sales in the last seven days. That's almost 10 sales a day. Next one, 38 sales in the last seven days. Next one says 2024, uh, make America great again. Just has like the Trump text in very small writing. Next one, army boot ornament. Okay, so not Trump related, 17 sales the last seven days. Next one, election results map, 16 sales in the last seven days. By the way, you could literally be doing like t-shirt research and then take the trending t-shirt designs, put them on ornaments, very simple way of arbitraging to generate sales as they did right here with the Patriot ornament. I'm just saying, let's jump to the next one. Teacher ornament was trending. So this says teacher Christmas ornament personalized and looks like you can put the teacher's name right there in the uh, design. So we'll come back to that. Uh, next one, personalized teacher ornament. Miss, Flo okay, yeah, so gift card holder as well. So you can give them a gift card as well. Thanks for helping me shine, Miss Amanda from Emma 2023. Also just giving you inspiration. If you did wanna sell personalized ornaments in general, you can do this whole process again, except we kept it very broad. When we started with the keyword research, we just typed ornaments. Obviously you can type personalized ornament, et cetera. Ornament gift, et cetera, et cetera, right? Uh, custom rainbow teacher Christmas, custom teacher ornaments. Thank you, uh, teacher Christmas gifts. Nice SEO right there, the first three words, teacher Christmas gift teacher ornament, teacher gifts, teacher Christmas ornament, you know what I mean? They're tackling very high value, very broad keywords. Also this niche specifically, we skipped over the sales. <laughs> Let's go back to that. Seven day sales on the first ornament, 989. Next one, 525. Next one, 460. Next one, 382. Next one, 281. So guys, when you sell on Etsy, there are different ways to go about it. You can sell in the more fringe niches like 
meat ornament where you might be the number one bestseller and not be making as many sales as the number 50 bestseller if you were selling in teacher ornaments. I like to sell in all of the above. Why, why stop at one? Why not sell in all of them? Etsy Hunt is serving up, I don't wanna say the best, they are serving up some of the best sellers here. Don't copy them, right? Make them your own, make improvements, put your own spin on them. But it's telling you, like when I, when I really show you these, what I'm thinking is like how they're optimizing their keywords. Because what's that representative of? That's what people are going to Etsy and typing into the search bar. And then if you have a good product at a you know quality price, right? You have a good value proposition. Hopefully they'll click your products and purchase them. And then you too can have a bestseller. So that was the teacher um, ornaments as well. Uh, was there another one? One more. Okay, this was also trending <laughs> right here. If we scroll down, it says massage ornament. Okay, and by the way, you can click that and it'll take you into a more in-depth uh, view of these keywords. It does also include data from places like Google Trends uh, if there's a lot of data to speak to. In this case, it doesn't look like there's a ton. Uh, anything related to something seasonal like ornaments, by the way, you do see it kind of jump when you get into the month of December, uh, predictably, right? So anyways, massage ornament. Let's see what we find here. Personalized girls relaxing spa day as an ornament, okay? That did 50 sales in total, 49. Uh, next one, spa treatment Christmas ornament. So maybe it's like you gift the ornament and then you say, hey, we're gonna go to the spa or something. Uh, this one's done 38 sales, the second one. The third one, personalized girls relaxing spa day, pedicure, nails, manicure, hair, ornament keepsake, 11 sales. Next one, massage therapist, personalized stick figure ornament. That's only done one sale. Next one, personalized massage therapist. I guess people are just giving gifts to their favorite massage therapist. Either way, right? I mean, if it's an underserved niche that's selling, go and get those sales, right? This is helping you, Etsy Hunt is helping you find these opportunities. Um, it looks like I should have sorted by total sales to get the best insights. This next one though has done 48 sales. Uh, I'm gonna open it up here for a closer look. Massage therapist, one who transforms tense beings into puddles of relaxation and artisan of alleviation who deftly transitions between being a soother, not ninja, an occasional comedian with a bottle of oil, gracefully needing the path to serenity, one pressure point at a time. Then it has the personalization right there, the name and the date. Guys, that is, I mean, hey, this was one of the best sellers in this space with almost 50 sales. Minimal effort to do that kind of personalization, especially if you're using something like um, Hello Custom from our friend Steven. Okay, so also you could consider checking that out there. but. Also, ChatGPT could write this for you, right? So it doesn't have to be, it's really as hard as we make it. If you guys have been subscribed to my channel, you know I love saying that. We don't get bonus points for making things harder than they need to be. So Etsy Hunt, you saw how easy that was to find a bunch of sub-niches. All I searched for was ornament, which isn't even a niche, it's just a product type. And I made sure that, you know, Printful, Printify, whoever can automate the fulfillment of these sales. So all I have to do is focus on the research, Etsy Hunt's got me, and then creating some designs. If I wanna offer personalization, of course, that's where Hello Custom can step in. But that's how you get a winning Etsy business. As we go over into the new year, make sure that you've got a plan, right? You don't have to do everything that all the YouTubers tell you to do. Do what works for you. I'm showing you that this process works for me and it uses real data. It's showing us where the sales are taking place. So hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, check out Etsy Hunt linked in the description. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon with another new video.